And before you guys say anything, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit from my last videos because I'm literally filming those videos on the same day. Oh my god, can a girl live? Light me up, put me on top. Let's fall la 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 la. Mary Chrysler. my channel. Today we are continuing our hashtag trash miss celebration by decking all the halls and the balls with a very special decorate my trashy tree with me video. It wouldn't be Christmas without a Christmas tree and it most def would not be trash miss without a trashy tree. So I figured why not take you guys along with me on what I am sure is destined to be the most hot mess tree decorating experience of our lives. So let's go ahead and jump right in shall we? Okay so first things first one you may notice the quality has shifted that's because I'm filming on my digital camera because I want this video to have like a cute little I don't know like home movie kind of vibe you know I don't know what we need to be discussing is why on God's green earth do I have not one but two Christmas trees basically got this pink Christmas tree years ago for one Christmas where my parents gave me a money tree but yeah I used this tree for literal years and then ultimately just stopped using it and just assumed I threw it away so because of that and because I wanted to get into the holly jolly spirit of Christmas this year I went out to Hobby Lobby like the very beginning of November and I got this Christmas tree thinking that I threw this one away and then like literally my mom and I were like, decorating our tree and we were in the garage like looking through all of our stuff because we had like lost some of our ornaments and we found this so now I I have two freaking trees and I don't know what to do and the cheapo broke bitch in me really wants to just return this tree and then use this tree but this tree honestly I think is going to look better and I already bought spray paint for it because I, it's, it's green as you can see it says it's green and I was gonna spray paint it white and then go in with this really cute hot pink spray paint for it and make it pink I don't know man <laughs> and I can't I don't have the room for two trees I really wish but my room is like a shoebox let's see if we can open her on up with one hand we're getting somewhere okay nope it's stuck wait oh oh, oh i'm so real oh i'm so real i did that i did okay oh she's big she's a big one so this is what she looks like out of her box she's a shorty just like me all we gotta do is fluff her out a little bit and she'll get some character All right, so here is what she looks like now after I spent a million gazillion years fluffing her out. She's not perfect, but like, I mean, what did we expect from a three inch tall tree? Look at her little Christmas tree boner. Boing, boing, boing. I too have a hard on for Christmas. Next step is spray painting her pink because it would not be a trashmas tree if I did not spray paint her pink. And as you can see, mama's very much so green right now. So we got some spray paint to fix that. I got some white and hot pink. Yeah, some gloss hot pink spray paint. The white for the base to like, you know, dial back the green a bit and then I'm gonna go in with this pink on top and make her all pink and pretty pretty and pink alrighty so we made it to my backyard and now it's time to get down to business All right, so this is the progress we've made so far. We're gonna give mama a sec to dry before we go ahead and go in with the hot pink. Also, I completely forgot how messy spray paint is. Do you guys see my hand right now? Oh my God. Now it's time for the fun part and I get to go in with my pink spray paint and turn her from not to hot. Thank you. 
All right, people, the spray can is officially done though. And here is our final result of the pink tree. You can never go wrong with pink, but like hot pink is a different level of like gorge. See, so yeah, I'm gonna let her dry. I'm gonna go clean myself up because as you can see, I'm a hot pink mess. And then once she's dry, we can finally decorate her and turn her into the trashy tree of my trash mess dreams. All right, so Miss Girl is officially dry and she is now chilling in my room. The lighting is like ridiculous right now because the sun is Setting. but I decided to prop her up on my little Juicy Couture storage ottoman that I keep all my dirty laundry in plus my little background of all my 2000s DVDs you see you see my bed's kind of messy ignore that but here's my little bag of goodies everything in here are all of my tree decorations I got this super cute star glitter tree topper like a mini tree topper I found it at City Trends I thought it'd be cute oh my god guys and I cannot believe this but I literally found Snooki and Polly D Christmas ornaments. I found these two ornaments on eBay of all places. Literally, this all started because one day I was scrolling through Pinterest trying to make my little Christmas, my trashy 2K Christmas board, and a picture of a Snooki ornament came across my feed, and I was like, there's no effing way this was ever real. Let me look around, because I need to know if someone is, like, selling this, and someone was. There's, like, a bunch of them on eBay. Polly, unfortunately, did not come in a box, but he's still hot. Next up in my bag of tricks, I have these black miniature Christmas, um, ornaments. Some are glittered, some some are like the plain glossy shine and then some of them are matte what else is in here oh this soup's cute cheetah print mini stocking i also got it at hobby lobby perfect addition for my tree we got some candy canes i wanted them because they were pink obviously omg this purse that i got also soups adorable look at it aren't you obsessed i know i'm obsessed and then i got another purse this one's pink though super glittery in sequence you see the bling on it super cute i found these like silver mini ornaments in our garage and I need something to match the tree topper so these were perfect I also found this really cute like little nail polish ornament which is perfect for me because you guys know I love to do my own nails well love oh, I do love doing them but it's also because I'm poor so oh my god this ornament right here a diet coke ornament if you guys don't know, I love diet soda. I think I mentioned this before in like one of my tag videos. I think it's like the TMI tag. I don't know. But I love diet sodas and diet coke is what started it all. If I could live off of one thing alone for the rest of my life and nothing else, it would be diet coke. I got some zebra print um, ribbon so that I can wrap it around my tree because I don't have tinsel. This is cuter anyways. Time to turn this tree trashy. Alright, so first things first, I have this little mini light set that I got from Big Lots. It's just like 50 lights, small enough for my tree. Okay, so from far away, she looks super cute. It's kind of like one of those situations like where someone's like, if you just tilt your head to the side and squint, your eyes look a lot better. Yeah, that's what is going on right now. She's cute, and then you get like closer to her, and you can like see all her detailing and stuff. But I still think it's cute. Like, I think it looks fine. I don't really need my tree to be lit up like the Rockefeller Center, so I think, I think it's good for now. This might help kind of offset the wonkiness of those wires in the tree. I don't know. As you can see, it's a little bit of a time change, okay, it's a little bit later on in the day, and that is because I actually ended up having to go to work, like, mid-tree decorating. I went ahead and added the zebra print ribbon throughout the tree. I think it makes it look super cute and super trashy already. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and add my basic ornaments, draw my black ornaments, and my silver ones. I went ahead and added my black and silver bulbs. You can't really like see them too well because the lighting in here super sucks right now. I kind of overestimated how big I thought this tree would be simply because I got a lot of freaking ornaments and not that much space. So we're gonna see how me adding my decorative ornaments 
is gonna turn out, but I have hope. First up, we have my cute little cheetah print stocking. Got her from Hobby Lobby. And I think I want to put it right here on my tree if it'll fit. Boom. There she is. Look how cute. Aw. Next, I'm gonna add my cute little cheetah print purse. Comment down below if you guys say purse, handbag, or pocketbook. I need to know. Personally, I say purse. You guys like it? You guys like it? I love it. I think it looks super cute. Ugh, it's coming together already. I'm, I'm obsessed. With that being said, I'm gonna add my cute little pink sequins one next. The fact that I put so many of the small ones is kind of like taking up some space. I might have to move some of these around. Hold on. I took off this little silver ball that I had hanging on this branch and put the purse here instead and I like it for now. It might change though later. I don't know. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for and by we, I mean me. We're gonna add Snookers and Polly to the tree. Let's just get into the detailing, okay? We have his bushy brow, the blowout, his headphones, his tats. Obviously, this miniature form of pure sexiness deserves to just be smack dab in the middle of the tree. So we're gonna put him somewhere right here. Hold on. All right, there he is. Oh, just look at him. I love it. I love it. But now it's time to take Snooky out of her box. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. We got the poof action going on up top. Her face looks nothing like her, but that's okay. Got the boobs out, obviously. She's not as tan as Snooki, but it's fine. Hold on. She kind of looks like Angelina more than anything. Okay, so I actually ended up putting her where I had Polly at originally, and then I moved Polly right down here. He's still very much so visible. I just kind of wanted Snooki to kind of be like the center of attention. I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm biased. What can I Say. Now, for the most part, our trashy tree is complete. All we have to do is add our finishing touch, which is our super sparkly glitter star tree topper. All right, she's going on top of the tree boner. It's official. Our tree is done. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at it just sitting there being the star she is. Oh, I'm so proud. All right, friends, and that means our trashy tree is officially complete. I am so, so, so happy with how it came came out. It is the most adorable, cutest thing ever. So trashy, so chic, so McBling, so me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because honestly, this whole process was a hot, hot gosh dang mess. Oh my god. But I mean, hey, my tree totally puts the hot and hot mess if I do say so myself. She truly is the trashiest tree of my trash miss dreams. Before I peace out, always remember to get sleazy, be sloppy, and stay slutty. That is all I have for today, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!